Hi, and welcome to the Balanced Body Athletic Training Podcast. My name is Chrissy Romani Ruby, and this is Zach. And we are broadcasting to you today from PHI Pilates Studio in Pittsburgh. We're going to use the core line today to show you some very interesting exercises that you can do with your athletes. This particular exercise I like to use with athletes that have flat feet, arch problems, or maybe plantar fasciitis. It's also really good for those that are rehabilitating from ACL injuries or that may have medial collapse during a squat. Not to mention that it's also good for all of those pelvic floor muscles, so it's great for SI problems and low, bra low back problems as well. So we're gonna have Zach step up, but I'll show you how I have this set up once he gets up there, okay? So we'll just let him use the gondola pole right now for balance. And I have blocks put in right now on either side so that the carriage won't open completely. You can eventually take those out if they have that kind of flexibility or let's say they're an ice skater or a gymnast and they need that kind of flexibility. For Zach, I've limited his motion to keep him protected. We're gonna have a yellow slastic on either side to keep the tension. We're gonna keep the hips in slight flexion and also zip up the jeans or try to pull the pelvis into a little bit of a posterior tilt to keep the abs on. Now Zach shouldn't need the gondola pull for this first one and we're gonna have him just try to draw his legs together so you're going to inhale and then exhale as you pull those pedals together. Now there's a screw there in the middle and he's trying to match on that screw and then he's trying to open again evenly so that the two ends hit the bumpers at the same time. So we inhale on the exhale, he draws together. We're using adductors, we're using deep abdominals. He pulls all the way together. Good, and then tries to release them evenly. And what you'll see on some of your clients is that one goes and then the other, and they have a lot of trouble with that eccentric contraction. Now, Zach's doing really well, so we're gonna progress. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a pull. You definitely wanna use a gondola pull for this one. Don't try to do it without it. Zach is gonna go ahead and pull together now, and we're gonna have him hold those pedals together once he gets there. So we're gonna pull them all the way together. Now he's stable and controlled. He's gonna to try to do a calf raise. So he'll inhale and he pushes the floor away with the ball of his foot and his heels come down. Good, and then go ahead and try to open. And let the carriage open. That's it, and we'll do that again. So he's gonna to draw together. Now you could have them hold and do several calf raises or you can do it like we are, where we're letting him come out and take a brief rest before he does another calf raise. He's gonna hold, he lifts the kneecaps, presses up. Good, and then heels come back down and opens with control. Very good, and Zach, just be careful stepping off. He can use the gondola pull. Great, so this exercise can be progressed. As they get stronger, we can move to a heavier band. Right now we're on yellow, it's a good place to begin. You could also Try doing it like I said, where you hold together and do several calf raises in one string instead of giving them that little break in between. I hope that this exercise will be useful for you and your athletes, and we'll see you on the next podcast.